Hi everybody, on today's show we're going to have a look at different types of 3D games. Isometric games, one that you wouldn't realise was meant to be 3D and some of my favourite 3D games. So join me on the Retro Robin Show. Number one, engage the starting titles. Hello everybody and welcome to the Retro Robin Show. So today what was I going to do was going to have a look at some early 3D games and some of my favourite isometric games. So without no further to do, let's have a look at some of the games that we're going to play today. And I thought I'd start with one of the very first 3D games that was actually made. Well it was made to try and look like it was 3D, but it didn't quite work out that way. And it was of course this one. Saber Wolf, believe it or not, is meant to be a 3D game. I know it looks like a flat screen, but if you was to actually look at it now, um, I'm going to use the new joystick of course I've got. So I'm going to press 4, which will make it easy for me. The screen's divided into two for two reasons. Um, and what it is, when you actually... Whoop, Just get out the first screen, there we go. The top bit, it's meant to make it, if you notice, it's slightly smaller. It's meant to make it look 3D. Um, and anyway, see, so that's the top part, and then that's the bottom part. If you notice, it's slightly larger at the bottom to make it give it that sort of effect. And this was like the first real early attempt of trying to make a 3D game. It's a great game, Saber Wolf, there's no doubt about it. Um, yeah, but this was like the very first attempt. And it's very colourful, very graphic. I'm sure everyone's played this. Uh, I'll be surprised if they haven't. If they haven't, you've, it's one of the early games, really. It's, it's well done. So let's have a look at uh, the next real leap into 3D games. And the first real isometric game, the one that sort of wowed everybody. And it is, of course, Night Law. I know I like this game as well, but I actually didn't see this on the Spectrum for the first time. I saw it on the um, BBC Micro at school. I didn't realise it was it had come out for the Spectrum, and uh, it was by obviously it was by Ultimate Player the Game, wasn't it? I believe. But yeah, this one really took, was the first of the isometric games, and the, the, there was a few to follow afterwards, and um, it was great, it was well done, graphically brilliant, um, very addictive, but yeah, there was a few games that, that gave this sort of 3D isometric type of image. Um, moving on to a... A next isometric game, which we will do, and I'll explain to you in a minute, which gave a completely new feel to 3D games, even though it was based on the same isometric look itself, was this one by Imagine a Movie. And uh, it actually felt like you was sort of starring in a movie. Let's enlarge the screen so you can see it better. I do have a tendency to forget to do that, and I do apologise. There we go. Just the way it starts as well was pretty good, so yeah. But that was another isometric game. This is one of my favourites as well. Um, unfortunately, it didn't have the same sort of, you know, I think we'll press enter to start. The way it sets up the room is great. It's various things you can do. Get grenades. You have to look for bullets for your gun. You get a tape. You have to go and... Uh, Follow a young lady who takes you to one of the main bosses that you have to kill. <laughs> but yeah. But it was a rotation game. And I forgot how to move now. But yeah, it was it was well done, I've got it now. So you rotate forwards. That's it. 
but yeah, this is a great 3D game. If you've never played this game, I think this was the one where you could type words in, um, and you'd say something to a parrot actually, and you'd repeat it back. <laughs> there was keywords, there was secret ways to open different doors and that. Um, yeah. Fortunately, sometimes the idea is not to try and kill anybody, it's to run like hell because you could shoot your bullet with a gun that you'd pick up from there, which is on the desk in the top corner there, like. But by the time the bullet travelled across, the that had moved out of the way. So that was that one movie. It gave a completely different feel, but it, yet again, it was another isometric game. Another game that I was pretty good at, and I like. It's one of my favourites. And I'm about to show you now. Is Alien 8 Ultimate again. And uh, they really were the best again in 3D games, wasn't they? And this one, you'd collect various objects and you, to, to save the cosmonauts. Oh, I forgot how to do this now. Got a new joystick, which is really sensitive, really good. Getting used to it is quite difficult, but yeah, it's worth every penny I've paid. Um, I'll try and show you a little bit more about the game. But yeah, this the walls on this sort of made you feel like you was on some sort of spaceship. The doors were designed to make it look like something that you'd um, see on Star Trek virtually, you know. The sort of doorways that would be on that. Um, yeah, it was a cracking game, this was. Uh, you had to collect objects, put them in, save cosmonauts. So, moving on to another 3D isometric game, <clears throat> which I think you'd like. Different feel to this one as well. Suivo's World! This one gave you a rating when you died, and usually it was, for me, really poor. Should have done better. It virtually insulted you every step of the way. Um, and you could select where you started from. Uh, we've added eight, it could be a little bit random actually. A little face figure in the top corner, and every time you bumped into the something that would be quite nasty, you'd get a his his expression would change from a smiling face to well, a not such a happy face. And believe me that there you go. And I'll do it a few times, as you can see. You can see his face change. Let me just move this, pan the crown across a little bit. I'm just slightly covering the picture. There we go. And eventually, you die. It's <laughs> pretty good, wasn't it? So move on to another isometric game that changed the way we look at things. This one was more of a puzzle game. A different type of game as well. Was Rasputin. I don't think we'll go free again. Oh, crashed. Never mind. Never mind. I think you get the general idea. The 1 to 8k version wasn't very happy here. But yeah, and of course, one of the most famous uh, isometrical games Head Over Heels. Can't believe that crashed. Oh, didn't you? Remember, I've seen that for the first time? Yeah. We'll definitely use the chem, so why not? Um, okay, play the game. Sorry I couldn't get Rasputin to work, I do apologise, but I will definitely do a review on that in the latest program, so I'm not too fussed about that at the moment. But yeah, this was a... Oops. Oh, it's difficult. You could swap, couldn't you? I forgot how to swap, was it? There you go. You could swap between the cat and the dog. But yeah, oh yeah, they've got those conveyor belts. And I think there was Batman that was similar, the way you've got the textured floors, textured walls. It was well done. But yeah, it's great. So there was your isometrical games, and there was a list of my few favourites there for you. A bit of a short show today, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have got more videos under the way, and if you like my shows, please remember to like, subscribe and share. 
and uh, in the meantime from Retro Robbins it's goodbye from now and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you for watching.